Hi, I'm Lance. Welcome to Feel the Boot, a channel of tips and advice for startup founders and interviews with entrepreneurs and experts. In today's short episode, I want to talk about a way of thinking about your competitive environment. It's been really resonating with a lot of people I've talked about it with recently. I end up talking with a lot of founders about their competitive environment. Usually this starts in context of helping them with their deck, where they're always putting together that all-important competition slide, which shows how they stack up against the other companies in their space, and inevitably shows why they're superior and puts them in the upper right quadrant or gives them all the little check marks down the grid. But one thought that I've had in talking to them recently was that your competition really isn't just the other companies in your space. Fundamentally, your competition is absolutely everything else in the world that your customer might need to engage with. Because in many cases, you might be better than the existing solution. So often I see these companies where their basic competition is Microsoft Excel, and they've created a solution that's targeted at this particular vertical and is obviously way better at solving this problem than Microsoft Excel. And they're gonna go, well, so of course people are gonna to wanna to switch to us. We're gonna save them money, we're gonna save them time, we're gonna have whatever benefits we've got. And those are all true things. But the problem is, Will the customer actually engage? Just because you're better doesn't mean they're gonna buy, right? This is a, a, a universally understood truism. Why won't they buy? Well, in many cases, it's because they have too many other priorities. A company or the purchasing manager really only has so many hours in the day, he has so much budget to start these things, he only has so many people to chase it down, so much mental energy to even think through these issues. And so it's not just a matter of being better than what they're doing. It's a matter of being able to rise above that level of no noise and get on the priority stack at all. Of the thousand things this person can do, but they're only going to do maybe 10, how do you get to be one of those 10? And so any other thing they could spend time, attention, money on is a competitor for you. So when you're looking at how much do people want your product, it's not enough to say it is going to save them money or produce some sort of outcome, but you need to show and in your deck need to prove to your investor that you know that this is a big enough problem for your customers that they will put it at the top of their priority stack. So really, this is all about understanding how badly your customers need it. And it's why people talk about it having to be so much better than the alternatives and being such an extraordinary need to make a company be successful. It's not because what you're doing isn't better, but if it's not better enough, it will lose not to your direct competition, but to the fog of war that's going on all the time and all the other things people need to do. And so I'm encouraging the people I advise, and I'm encouraging you to really spend a lot of time talking to potential customers, understanding the problem set, understanding what other priorities they're engaging in, and make sure before you invest a huge amount of time and treasure into your own business that you meet that threshold. That once you come to market, people will put you above some other set of priorities that they were previously considering. Thanks for watching this short episode. I hope you found it useful and interesting, and if so, do the usual like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'd also appreciate it if you'd leave me feedback letting me know what you think about these shorter, more casual episodes. I also encourage you to come join us and the conversation over at the Field the Boot Founders Alliance on Facebook. There's a link down in the description. Until next time, ciao.